So in this video, we're going to be looking at Louie Louie for the alto saxophone. So before you start uh, with any more of this video, make sure you have your saxophone and your part for Louie Louie handy. Now the first thing we're going to see is it starts out with a black bar with a four over it. That means we're going to start this song by resting. We're not playing but for the first four measures. That starts with the bass drum and the snare drum basically going doom, tick, doom, tick, tick, doom, tick, doom. So when you're sitting here, um, and we're not going to go through it right now, but it's important in full band that when we start this is you have to be thinking to yourself, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and then you come in and play. For when you're practicing at home, you don't have to practice counting through those rests, but when we are playing it with the full band, you certainly have to make sure you're counting those rests and you're always listening. All right, so the song starts on G. We have an eighth note, two eighth note Gs, and then a quarter note, okay? So let's just do this first part right here. G, G, G. It's gonna sound like that. G, G, G. G, G, G. All right, so I'm gonna slow it down, and I'm gonna play it, and you play along with me. We're just gonna do this part. Do, day, do. One, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. All right, let's try that figure again. One, two, three. Oh, excuse me, bad G. One, two, ready. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and remember, this is a quarter note, so you got to make sure this is getting a full beat. Now, something that's going to be really important with this whole song is making sure you get a good tongue and a good articulation on every note. Okay, so let's just try that first part again. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. All right, one more time. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, I keep missing that G, okay? I'm going to relax my jaw a little bit and make sure I'm keeping my top of the teeth on the top of the mouthpiece. That should help me get that G. One more time. Here we go. Hopefully I don't crack it this time. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Do, day, do. G, G, G. Get that tongue fire. Two, two, two. Now let's add the C's in it. Right here, this is what we call an eighth note rest. So that means this eighth note C is coming off the beat. So this first pattern is going to sound like this. G, 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 C, C. Okay, listen again. G, 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 C, C. All right, I'm going to play just measure five. You listen. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, try it again. Yeah, uh, now you try it. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. One, two, again, go. Boom, boom, boom. One more time. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. So if you're tapping your foot along to this song, okay, this C is not going to come on the beat. It's going to come off the beat, okay? G, 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 C, C. Okay, you do not want to play that C on the beat. Listen to it again. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And I got to stop missing those Gs. Try it again. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, now let's go on to measure six. We're going to add these D's into it now, okay? Now the rhythm for these D's is the same as the G's. G, 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 C, C, D, D, D. All right, here we go. Five and six. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, try it again. Five and six. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. One more time. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now to end out this phrase, in this measure five and six, this phrase comes up in this selection a lot. So it's very important that you play it accurately. All right, to end this, this phrase, this section, you're going to end it with two more C's, just like in measure five. So we're going to get G, 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 C, C. D, 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 C, C. If I were to play it, it would sound like this. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Listen again. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. It's really important to make this one easier to pick up, to play, is just really make sure you got your ears working and you're listening. Let's try it again. Measure five and six. One, two, 
Do that again. So let's do five through eight. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the only difference between uh, nine and ten and what, how we've done before is we're adding two rests in right here. Okay. So it's important you don't let those two rests catch you off guard. And to help uh, not play on those rests, I want you to actually say, rest, rest. And really, when you're playing this song, don't get lost with just doing that pattern over and over again. You have to track the, the notes with your eyes left to right to make sure you don't go right past this rest. So here we go. Here's five, six, seven, and eight. One, uh, we actually know what I like. Let's do five through ten. One, two, three. Rest, rest. And after that rest, we're going into the main melody of the song. Let's do that one more time because it's so important that that part 5 through 10 sounds accurate. Okay? Really get those tongues moving. To, to, to. Two, 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 two. Here we go. Five through ten again. One, and watch out for those rests. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Rest, rest. One more time, because this part is that important, okay? Now, if for whatever reason you're having trouble with this, that's okay, all right? And you don't feel like you're ready to go on to the melody, that's okay. Pause it, slow it down, work on what you need to work on so until it sounds clean, okay? Here we go, five through ten. One, two, three. Like you got that part down and you got that rhythm all right and that rhythm solid you can go on to the main melody part but it's so important to make sure you got that part sounding like how I'm playing it in fact let's do it one more time one two three rest rest okay Again, if it doesn't sound solid, that's okay. Slow it down, practice, and really listen. Really listen. Using your ear is going to be important for this part, this song, okay? Let's go on to measure 12 now. Now, this isn't too bad in terms of fingerings because we're just going to a B to a C. So before we play this, make sure you take a big breath. And this part, 11 through 17, is really the main melody of the song. You're going to carry this with the clarinets, the trumpets, uh, and I think the flutes as well. All right, so let's just try measure 12. B, 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 C, B, 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 C. Really use that ear very slowly. One, two, three. Try that again. Measure 11. One, two, three. Start with a nice full breath and 11. One, two, three. Okay, now notice that comes up again in measure 15. So if we play it right at 11, we'll know how to do 15 as well. Let's try that again. In terms of fingerings, we're just alternating from a B to a C. B, 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 C. B, 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 C. Two, 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 two. Very slowly, measure 11. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. 
Now, let's keep going. Let's try measure 12. D, C, G, G. We'll just do measure 12. All right, don't worry about 13. Don't worry about connecting it with 11 again. Let me just, just listen. We're going to want D, C, G, G. The rhythm's a little bit tricky, so make sure you're listening. D, C, G, G. Listen, I'll play it. One, two, three. And make sure you're getting down to the G, okay? Relax, keep it relaxed, we gotta get down to the G. So here's measure 12. Listen, listen, ready? Okay, D, C, G, G. Okay, now let's tack this part on right here at 13. Make sure this note, you play that a B. Don't get in there as an A. We're jumping up to a, we're jumping up to a B. D, C, G, G, B, G, G. Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's just do 13. B, G, G. One, two, 13. Oh, excuse me, that rhythm was incorrect. Try it again. Listen to it again. B, G, G. Ready? All right, so let's do 11, 12, and 13. Really make sure you're listening. Use that tongue to punch those notes out. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Again, if you don't have it under your fingers, that's okay. Listen, practice it, use the tongue. All right, here we go. Same thing again. One, two, ready. And don't squeak the note like I just did. All right, bad, Mr. Tedrick. Try it again. 11, 12, and 13. One, two, three. Oh, how does that go again? One, two, try it again. My fault. Oh, man, I'm full of mistakes. One, two, three. All right, good. Keep doing it. 11 and a one. 11, 12, and 13. One, two, three. Let's do 11 through measure 17, all right? 15, 16, 17 is just the exact same thing again. So we're gonna add the rest in. It's gonna sound like this. Ba da 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 Rest, 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 rest. Da 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 all right, so here we go. 11 through 17. One, two, three. One, two, good, good. Try that again. Now, it is very important that this that you get the rhythm solid. In terms of notes and fingerings, it's not too bad, but the rhythm is a little bit tricky, so make sure you're listening. Here we go, try it again. We're gonna do this a little bit faster this time. 11 through 17. One, two, three. to make sure we really have it under our fingers. Take lots of air, take big breaths, make sure you're really filling up that saxophone with air and you're getting a good sound out. And here we go, 11 through 17. One, two, three. to watch out for is right here. This is what we call a repeat sign. Double black lines with the two dots. And what that repeat sign means is that we are going to go all the way back to where we saw the first double black lines with the two dots and play it one more time. All right? We're not going to the beginning of the song. We're going back to measure five to repeat. All right? So we're going to start here. 
We're going to play all of this down. When we get to measure 18, we're going to repeat and go back to measure 5. All right? Let's go ahead. Let's try that with the repeat. We're going to start at 5, play it down, take the repeat back to 5, and play it down one more time. And then we'll go over the ending. Make sure you do not forget about the rests right there. Make sure you're listening to the rhythm. The rhythm is so important in this tune. Okay? So here we go. Measure five with the repeat. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. You stink, Mr. Tedrick. Here we go. Try it again, and I won't squeak unless I squeak. One, two, three. repeat's going to work. We're going to start here, play through it down, repeat, and then the second time we go through it after the repeat, we're just going to go through the repeat, play through the bottom, and end it. And the ending's very simple. Oh, without the squeak. Okay? So let's just try that ending very quickly. 19, 20, and 21. Is just like, um, all right, it, it's very similar to the introduction, okay? G, 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 C, C, D, 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 C, C, G, G, G. But make sure you're tracking, your, tracking the notes left to right so when we get to the end, you end together, okay? You don't play on these rests right here. So here we go. Here's 19, 20, and 21. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. And then that's the end of the song. And we're going to do that after we've taken the repeat, okay? So we start at the song. We're going to start with the drum solo right here. We're going to play through the whole song. We're going to get to 18. We're going to repeat. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, play. The second time we get to 18, we're going to end the song, all right, with that ending. Right here at 19. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure when you're playing this, you're really using your tongue. All right? This one's all about using your ear. All right? All about using your tongue. And everything else with saxophone, don't forget to breathe. Nice full breaths. Okay? Now, let's do the whole song top to bottom. Here we go, 5 through 21. 1, 2, 3. Now. 
And that's the end of the song. Use your ear, use your tongue, use your breath. Happy practicing.